Okay, so today I'm making the ignition toggle, toggle switch. So I didn't come up with this, but I did make this little resource to make it easier. There's what you need. Radio Shack, well, I don't have Radio Shack anymore. So I ordered both of these. One of them I got, I think, on Amazon. One I got on eBay. I'll link it in the description if you guys want to make your own ignition toggle switch so you can get rid of the ignition. And I have like a super easy diagram. And I'm remaking this because I don't trust the old one. My old one is so old, I'm using some really super heavy duty equipment to splice a tiny little thing. So hopefully it's not too much overkill, but see, I wonder if it can focus through the glass. So we'll see. So let me use my flux and uh, just scrape some of it off. Put a little, probably too much on there. Just to help the solder seep in between the cracks. And then we'll find out whether or not this solder gun is too powerful. Let's see. Probably overkill, but it seems like it worked really well. Okay. Well, it seems like it worked great. And you can see the color pattern there. So it's just real easy. And then you just follow the simple diagram. And uh, I'm probably going to put a link to the files of these two so it's easy to follow. Okay, here's my donor harness. You can see this completely mangled ignition, which I did not do. I got this part like this. And you can see here the pink wire, which looks kind of red, but it is the pink wire, the notorious pink wire that breaks. Anyways, so I'm just going to There will be my new, my new switch. And my uh, Zener diode and resistor wired up. Quick update. So I spliced it together. And then uh, just to be certain, since they were little tiny wires, I, I soldered the resistor and uh, the diode to the actual splice, just to make absolutely sure that it had a good good bond. Okay, after actually putting this thing on and then looking at my manual, I found that these wires are not the same colors. So, I came and plugged them into the harness. For some reason, the pink wire is not the same on my, on my donor harness from that other ignition. So I actually spliced it onto the wrong one. So learn from my mistakes, follow the pink wire from your harness. I don't know why it was different on that ignition, but if you look, see the pink wires down there, the plug will go in like this. So that means I should 
have to it on the green wire. Oh, what the heck. Anyways, learn from my mistakes. Make sure that you're doing the right wire. So now I gotta fix that. Well, it turns out that this was an aftermarket ignition and that's why the wire colors were different. So I did switch it to uh, the green wire, which was just a matter of clipping off what I made and re-splicing and putting it onto the green wire instead of that reddish wire. But um, if you have a stock ignition, it'll be the pink wire. So the, the, the wires will match up unless you have an aftermarket ignition like I used for this donor harness that I made. And then I went and used that uh, Tessa tape that I did in another video and wrapped this up so it's it's nice and there's no loose wires. And I, and I put a heat shrink on there so nothing will touch. I put on a, a cruddy plug, or not plug, but um, switch here. So I'm gonna get a nicer switch, but you need a, a heavy amp switch if you're gonna make an ignition harness like this. Anyways, I plugged it in and it worked right away. Let's see if I can do this one hand so you guys can see. Just... And then right away. Easy. So it's. I mean, it's kind of a process to make, but it's definitely doable at home, and you can do it with um, you can do it with a regular solder iron too. You don't have to have all the heavy-duty stuff that I have. Back when I made my original one, that was super old. I just used a cruddy little soldering iron, and um, none of that, you know, magnifying glass and all that that I use this time. But, anyways, there you go. Hopefully, it works out for you. And yes, I'll try to link. Like I said, I'll link that stuff in the description, but I think I got one of the one of the pieces off of eBay. Anyways, well, good luck, you guys. And if you need to do this, hopefully this is a good resource for you. Bye.